What's up, everybody? Josh here with Andy again. Hey, guys. And this time we've got just the recording of Cat Weasel and Scorpio. It's uh, an oath on oath matchup. Yeah, we're into the top eight now, and this is the uh, the first round here, and it should be a good match because we have two excellent players here. And yeah, this is a it'd be interesting because you know Cat Weasel is solely an oath player in my experience. She's been playing it for a really long time, extremely adept at it, and. I was a little bit surprised to see Scorpio pick this deck up for the tournament. Yeah, it's, he's usually a little more rogue in what he plays, and he always does well with his decks, but it's not usually one of the mainstream decks. Uh, we all know Scorpio is an excellent player, but this should be a very interesting match. Um, Scorpio has let out with the Bayou, and he's gone and searched with his Imperial Seal for something. I'm wondering if he went and picked himself up a channel. Uh, does he have channel in his deck? Not sure. I don't actually have the list pulled up right now. I think he's a little more good gameish than Cat Weasel is. I think he's only got. Cat Weasel's on a hybrid, right? Yeah, she's got a couple of show and tells. Um, she's still got Dragon's Breath, but she's got Gristlebrand, Emrakul, and Blightsteel, I think. Yeah, she's a three creature package. Three different creatures. So she led out with a library, which is probably one of the best things you can lead out with in the Oath Mirror. Absolutely. That's actually a good card in any type of matchup. Not in Dredge. Well, that's true. Oh yeah, just for just for the record, actually, Scorpio does have a channel on his deck. Okay. If I can get so. this recording to work. All You're right. Doing an awful lot of clicking there, Josh. I know. You know, I, in case you're unaware, I can lead to a severe case of carpal tunnel syndrome, so you should really take it easy. It's too late. <laughs> okay, so we see another forest here, and he is playing a lotus petal. Tropical island, lotus petal, and interesting, demonic tutor. That's not what I expected to see. It's a hideous demonic tutor at that. Couldn't agree with you more, Josh. And X Scorpio must have the regular one in foil. He's got a lot of good foils. Well, you know the stigmatization that's out there in the classic community, Josh, that these promos are better than the regular foils. Um, for the record, I'm just not buying it. You know, it's, it's like the, one of the most iconic cards ever. How do you how do you go and do that? Yeah, well, I think a prime example that I just find so hilarious is a, you know, something like a, a promo Yogmas Will. That is worth something in the vicinity, correct me if I'm wrong, around $250. It's extremely rare. Yeah. Um, where the regular is maybe 50 bucks, And my God, that promo is just ugly. All right. Fix this. There's a channel. Okay, oh, uh, and Emrakul is going to hit the table, and that is game. Unless Cat Weasel has a lightning bolt. <laughs> nope. Alright, so, game two. And the Scorpio is up one nothing. I would mm -hmm. guess most of the Oaths of Druids have a... Uh, come out for these two. So what happened there, Josh? If Scorpio played first, and he won that game, did Cat Weasel pass? What, what happened? Uh, maybe this is Because Cat Weasel would be on the play. Yes, this may be game three. Okay. And 
she's beaten down with a couple spirit tokens here off the of Forbidden Orchard. And a third for Cabal Therapy. And Cat Weasel protects whatever it is she's got. Okay, so Cat Weasel has won the game. So that was a bugged recording. Yeah, not sure what happened there. But I'm going to say Scorpio is it's 1-1 one, one right now, and Scorpio leads out the Bayou into a Cabal Therapy. Yeah. He named Force of Will. And X Scorpio is playing first here as well, so this must actually be game three. That other one must have just been a bugged recording. Yeah, you know, I absolutely love the Gitaxian Pro Cabal Therapy combo. It's extremely underplayed in Classic, and it's just so good. Hi, I'd like to take a look at your hand for free. I'll pay two life. I'm going to draw an extra card, and I'm going to hit you with a Cabal Therapy, and I'm going to have my pick of the litter out of your hand. Hello. If you give me a Orchard token, I'll just Cabal Therapy you again. Mm -hmm. So Kat has a strip mine on the table, and she was able to take a look at Thought Seeds uh, at a Scorpio's hand at the cost of a Lotus Petal, and she's got another Cabal Therapy. We Interesting know. to see X Scorpio actually has gemstone gemstone mines in his deck. Yeah. Throwing what an, an odd card choice. Multiple. Cat yeah, Weasel's got an Emrakul in hand. So she's looking for a show and tell, I would guess. Which is pretty dangerous, I guess, against an oath opponent. It's actually a Scorpio that's looking for it. He has a Nature's Claim, an Emrakul. Oh yeah, I think Cat Weasel has Gemstone Mine times two. Yeah, I was looking at Cat Weasel's hand from the Cabal Therapy. I think she's also got an Emrakul, so... I guess Show and Tell does nothing at the moment. No. They just get to Legend Rule there. Emrakuls. So, we are in the typical stalemate here where we're just drawing cards. Without doing anything. Couple of gemstone mines. I used to run it in Dredge. had a couple along with the other Rainbow Lands, but I've never run it in anything else. How about you? Uh, you know what, Josh? I've run them in one deck, and I cannot remember what that deck is now. I just don't think it's that good of a card. Um, Especially when we've got all kinds of fetch lands and duels. Well, exactly. It's not like it gives you resistance to Wasteland or anything like that. It still dies to Wasteland, so... Uh, I just like a little bit more longevity out of my lands. Um, I mean, it could be good. It certainly will allow you to ramp into uh, a channel pretty easy, but... You know, that just doesn't seem like that great of a play to me. So there's an so. oath and a demonic consultation gets... No, it got, uh, got missed up, right? Yep. Sorry, Josh, I thought there was a little bit of lag there. Demonic Consultation is another card we don't see a lot of in Classic. No, and I know Scorpio has been running it in a different deck in uh, a couple of dailies. Found interesting. Just a sick card. It's so strong. But I, I think it's extremely risky playing it in Oath. Because you only have a couple of targets. Yeah. And what if you what if you mill them, right? Yeah, it's a risk. If you go and get that oath and you mill your oath targets in the process of getting the oath, it's 
pretty rough. Definitely. So, Scorpio actually just cast a Brainstorm, which meant a Pyroblast, a Red Blast, out of Cat's hand. Cat's obviously fearful of seeing a an Orchard hit the table here. Because their Strip Mine's not going to do anything against it. Yep. Whereas Scorpio actually has the luxury of two Cabal Therapies if Cat should find an Orchard. Ooh. Which is pretty good tech for the mirror. Jace hits the table, though. Yes, Jace is a, a, a real beater on any type of creature that gets on the table. Now, is Excorpio running the good game version? Does he actually have Dragon's Breath in his deck? Yeah, I think he does have Dragon's Breath. So, he gives Cat Weasel a token, and she can use her Jace to bounce the spirit. You know what, Josh? He does not have Dragon's Breath in his deck. Oh, really? He... So he's just dead to that, then. He cannot beat that. Let me just carouse his list here and see how he's going to get out of that. Yeah, it looks like he's conceded, so... Alright, Cat Weasel's moving on to the top four. Congratulations wow. to both of them. Well done, Cat. Congratulations, and... Good luck in the top four. Well done, Excorpio. We'll see them both in the Invitational. Absolutely. Thanks for watching again, guys. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.
Thanks, guys.